Mobile phones are very useful tools for communication and your security. Often they are vital to have with us in case of emergency. However, they also have a number of security risks, especially smartphones like Apple, Android, Blackberry or Windows phones. Phones, especially smartphones, have lots of useful features that can be used by an adversary. For example, regular voice calls and SMS messages can be easily intercepted. All phones, both smart and dumb phones, can be tracked, even phones without GPS. The microphone can be turned on remotely without your knowledge to listen in on what is happening around you. This can be done even if the phone is powered off, unless the battery is removed, which is often not possible on many smartphones. The camera can be turned on remotely without your knowledge to film what is occurring around you. Smartphones are basically like computers in your pocket that you bring everywhere. So they are also subject to the same risks, such as malware. This means you need to take the same precautions, such as keeping them updated, installing antivirus and firewall apps. They are also more at risk because you carry them around and they are thus more likely to be stolen or lost. Let's talk through some top tips for protecting phones. Create, use and regularly change the pin code. Turn on encryption on the device. Turn on remote locate and wipe features on the phone. Update phone software to the latest versions. Only download official versions of apps. Avoid using unnecessary apps which may steal your data. Delete sensitive photos, messages and other information from your device when you no longer need them. Use apps with strong encryption for communication, such as Signal and WhatsApp. Because regular SMS messages can be easily intercepted, it is important to increase the security of messaging using apps with end-to-end -end encryption. This means it is much harder for somebody monitoring to intercept. The best tools for this are Signal and WhatsApp. Telegram and Threema are other popular messaging tools, but they have a number of weaknesses and we do not recommend their usage. Even with secure tools, it is important to ensure that messages are regularly deleted and phones kept free of malware. To make voice calls more secure, you need to use a mobile calling app which includes end-to-end -end encryption. These calls don't work using a regular call plan. Instead, they work across the internet, similar to how Skype works called Voice Over Internet Protocol, or VoIP. This means you have to be in a location with strong internet signal on your phone or a Wi-Fi. Compared to regular calls, they can occasionally have a delay when speaking with someone else. The best tools for this are Signal App and WhatsApp. If you wish to increase anonymity by using cheap non-smartphones called a burner phone, it is important to remember to change both the SIM card and the phone at the same time, as both have unique numbers which identify you on the phone network to anyone monitoring. If you call the same people on the new phone as the old phone, you replicate a pattern which the phone network can use to identify you as the user of both phones. In some countries, it is not possible to register a phone without providing a government-issued ID. This makes it harder to increase your security by using a burner phone. If you keep a burner phone on all the time beside other phones, for example, your normal personal phone, it creates a match on the phone network linking both phones together. This means it's important to turn the burner phone off when not in use. 